Hello, how are you doing? I hope everyone is well. Look at me, spoiler alert. Look, today I'm very excited. I feel like this has been a long awaited video. I am going to be trying out Sheen. Sheen, Sheen. I have six dresses to try on and I got two little accessories. Uh, one of them is this little jewel that I'm wafting about right now. Um, and I was gonna put it in my hair, but I just can't work out if it's cute or not. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe if I feel like a dress needs some bedazzling. I can add those. <laughs> I believe they were all under 50 pounds and they also came in four days, which I think is insane. I feel like she and shipping used to take like nine weeks and you never knew if it was gonna turn up, but here we go. Let's just get into the video. The zip's broken. I mean, not a great start because this is currently the back. Um, I'm imagining that's just a faulty dress, but okay, I feel very childlike in this dress. I'm not sure what it is. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel very like elegant or sexy or sophisticated. I'm not sure what it is. It feels quite nice, like this isn't see-through or anything, and it fits quite nicely, or it would at least. If the back was not up, the sleeves are a tiny bit baggy, they're not snug, and also they're a really strange length. Like maybe if they were actually three quarters, I'm not sure. And I will say, I am quite a fan of a sleeve that like, you know the ones that go down to the middle finger and you, I like that. But I feel quite childlike in this dress, which is probably not what you want to feel like on your wedding day. Um, but if this is your thing, then I mean, I mean for what it is, it's kind of cute. Let me actually just put that little bling in my hair because I feel like it's missing a bit of pizzazz. I hate it. <laughs> Um, for me, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Dress number 2. Um, now I will say, I got this out of the bag and I was like, mm -mm, no, 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 she feels cheap. Like it felt like it was going to be uncomfortable and I thought it was going to be really baggy around the bosom area. But... Actually, hello, she spins nicely. I actually don't think, lol, I'm gonna edit the footage and be like, oh, I can see your pants. Um, but I don't think you can see my pants. I think this is very, very cute. It's staying up nicely on the boobies. It's got like a um, rubber lining, you know what I'm talking about, around there, so they stay up. I feel like it fits really nicely. I feel like it's actually quite flattering. This, I think, is the closest I got to like a non-fitted dress. I really, really like it. I feel like this would be great for a beach wedding or I've seen quite a lot of people change out of their like day dress for the reception. Like if you're partying, you don't want to be partying in a in a two grand dress, you want to throw on your 23 pound sheen dress and it doesn't matter if you like spill chilli on it or get drunk and vomit. I'm going to actually rate this one. I think this was the cheapest dress out of all the dresses. I think it was like 25 pounds. I'll correct myself on screen. But for that price, this is excellent. Like, I think it's wonderful. Moving on. I know I said we were moving on, but just as an option. I mean, is that, oh, I don't know. Do I look like Wendy Darling from a school production of Peter Pan? Yeah, yeah I do. Do I love it? Yes, now actually moving on. You actually can really see my nipples in that. Sorry. Sorry, I can't finish that. I rate that, um, I'm actually gonna give that an eight and a half out of 10. very 
thick, it's quite nice, it's thick material. Ain't nobody seeing those nippies through this. It's got little cups inside, which I feel like make my boobs look very like, like they've just been two half grapefruits have just been pressed on there. Um, which I don't mind, I don't mind grapefruit boobies. But, can you see why? Like, why is that necessary? I mean, why would you have a seam there? I feel like that is so strange and it really ruins the like line of the dress. Oh, sorry, my nips are itchy. Again, I feel like this would be quite a nice do the wedding in the day, in the evening, nip to the loos, pop this cheeky little number. And what I'm gonna do is I bought, sorry, you can hear, you can hear the clip clopping of my heels. Oh my God, my heels are so itchy. Um, I bought a little bling bling belt, which I'm gonna just, that's kind of cute. This was mega cheap. And I feel like if you just want to add a little bit of pizzazz, maybe this is it. Fun. Um, I'm going to rate this a... I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 with the belt. I'm going to give it a 6.5 without the belt. Let's move on. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not really showing you the back of these dresses, it's because there's nobody here to zip them up. Oops, the daisy. Um, I can't, I can't get them up at the back, so most of them have got fluffy backs open. If you're wondering, if you weren't, just carry on. Dress number four. I don't know. I can't tell if, I think, if it didn't have the sleeves, I would really like the, like, shape of it. Actually, can you see my fanny? It's quite nice, a nice thickness. I'm not too worried about like flashing or flashing a nip. Just these sleeves. Like, I think they could be, I don't know. I'm just gonna add the belt. It does have a little sparkly belt, but it's, it's B-Tech level. We wanna, we wanna take this up to, to A level. <laughs> um, that was terrible. It doesn't look bad from afar. Like, I don't actually think this is a bad dress. It feels quite nice. I was worried that the sleeves were going to be a little bit itchy. But because, oh my goodness, so it's not even a full sleeve. It's just like a drape. You see? like it less or what it just feels a bit strained i'm not sure if i wear it like this if i wear it like this i don't know i like the fit of the dress i like that it's a bit different i'm just not sure if different is good let me look in the big mirror i don't know is it good is are the sleeves weird would it be better without the sleeves? Who knows? I am going to give it... I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give this a seven and a half as well. Like, I feel like it's put together well and it should be like an eight or a nine. I'm just not sure if, like, visually it's put together well. Like, the craftsmanship is good. The design I I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Go on, dare you. Let's move on. Bit of booby. Let's get a bit of booby in. <laughs> the second to last dress. Um, I don't know if you can see, I will come close, the detailing of this dress. It's much more blingy than the others. I feel like it's quite modern in style but I will say it fits really really strangely around the top like this bit is really high up um I feel like I need to pull it beyond where it should be for it to fit 
I will say, because it's se covered in sequins, it's really itchy on like any of these edges, and I know they're not made for comfort, but I would like to not leave with a rash. Um, it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I feel like it's very different <laughs> and on the hip. I feel like it's very different to the other dresses. It's quite long, like it's a good length. So let me show you my feet. It's quite a good length if you're wanting to wear a high heel. I think I'm five foot six and I've got a petite heel on today. So if you want to wear a slightly bigger heel, I think this would be absolutely fine. Um, I also think you could get away, oh my god, I think you could get away with this as like a prom dress because it is so sparkly. I think you'd be alright. I, I do think you would get, you would need like blister plasters under the pits. Um, but yeah, I actually quite like this. Let me show you the sparkle. Lovely. I'm going to give it a seven and I actually like the design and the shape it's just so itchy like I do think it would be quite uncomfortable to wear sorry I'll just unzip the back of it because I'm sweating um I think it would be quite uncomfortable to wear for a long period of time but I do like but I do appreciate the sparkle so seven out of ten final dress I love this Sorry, what? This is, it feels so nice. It's shiny and it's, it's quite thick. Like, I'm not worried that we're going to see anything. Here is the bar. Um, it's quite long as well. Like it has like a nice bit of floor. What's this? A little bit of train. Going on, I feel like it's very, like, elegant, classic, understated, but still very, very, very sexy. I mean, it's quite low cut, so, boss. With, like, a nice, big, long, straight veil. I'm just going to put the belt on to see what we think of a bit of flair. So, obviously, if you've got the dress and the belt, you would need someone to sort you out, stitch it on. Hot glue got it on, do whatever you want. I really like it. I thought I was gonna hate it because I'm so pale. I normally prefer like a more like champagne colour rather than this is like white. Um it's white, it's crisp, it's it's gonna get fake tan stains on the armpits, crisp white. But it's nice, it's quite snug here I feel like it's keeping this in I don't think it would keep this in because there's a little bit of room but it's your wedding day do what you want let it hang um is that what you want on your wedding day I don't know I don't know but I love this I am actually going to give this dress I feel like I've got to give it a 10 I can't fault it I actually can't fault it at all I wonder if no I've got nothing. I've got nothing to say about it. I love it. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed, I would love it if you could leave me a like. Let me know which of these dresses is your favourite. If a comment, this is mine. And it would be awesome if you would click the subscribe button. Is it here? I will see you very, very soon for another video. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs>